hello guys you are welcome back to my channel once again and thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it and also subscribe to my channel thank you so much as you do that god bless you um <clears throat> today i would like to show you some few, few things you have to do before um the main pi kyc as you can see on the um home page of pi mining app you have the pi kyc preview so you can actually go to your pi um mining app and you watch this video so that you can understand the whole process of the kyc of the pi kyc and the um all the documents that you're going to be needing and the information that you're going to need as well so having said that um i'll show you some few things you have to do before the kyc so um when you open your pie app like this just click on this uh, three dash line this menu here <coughs> so you click on this main net then you click on this main net checklist so when you do that and you you see a lot of options here we have number one to number seven so those ones that you have done will be marked with green box those ones that you have, you have not done will be we have red box beside them you can see this number five six number five and six they are not done yet those are the kyc um application so they are not done yet so you don't have to worry about those ones but this number one two three and four those are the ones that you have to actually look at this number one is download pi browser app so when you click on it it will take you to uh, google play store or uh, iOS app store if you take it to those place then you can download the pi browser from there then this number two is for you to create your pi wallet so if you have not created your pi wallet you can do that so immediately you download this pi browser and you click on this create pi wallet it will open into your pi browser then it will ask you to create your pi wallet i've actually um you can actually find a video on that on youtube and uh, the process is very simple just follow the um the process promptly so it's very simple so if you are not, if you have not created your wallet just do that then this number three is confirm your pi wallet this is the one i'm going to show you today how to do that one then this decide how much pi you want to lock up you can click on it as well i made a video concerning that previously you can watch my previous video or you can click on it immediately you click on it or let me show you if you click on it it will take you to a place where it will ask you to um choose the lockup percentage and lockup duration so you can choose um you can adjust it based on what you actually want like you want to lock up 50 percent of your pie you want to lock it up for maybe six months one year three years or so any um any settings that you want to do you can do it here so any settings that you do for your lockup here it will actually reflect in your uh mining rate that is um if let, let me let, let me show you if i reduce it to one year now you can see that my mining rate has reduced if i increase it to three years my mining rate has increased so it depends on you so the higher the lockup percentage and lockup duration the higher the mining rate so that is that and when you are done with that you can click on this save button here so you can see lockup settings updated so i'll go back to this page now the next one i want to show you is this uh confirm your pi wallet i've done for my own you can see that my own has a thick green box so now in order for you to do that you just click on it so when you click on that it will ask you to enter your passphrase in order for you to access your wallet so if you have created your wallet before you can uh, get your passphrase from where you have written it down or if you can't find where you wrote your passphrase before if you can't find it then you have to do what i will, what i will show you now then uh if you just you just want to create your uh pi wallet make sure that you write down your passphrase because you will need it at this point here so if you want to get your passphrase just go to your pi browser so when you open your pi browser you click on this uh, wallet.py so when you click on wallet.py it will ask you to unlock with fingerprint or you unlock with passphrase but since you don't have your passphrase you can unlock with fingerprint that is if you have set the fingerprint before on your pi browser app 
but if you have not done that and you don't have access to your passphrase then you have to click on this you can reset your wallet you understand you can reset it since the pi minute is not live yet so you can reset your wallet and you get a new wallet entirely so for that one just write down the passphrase and don't lose it again you understand so try and do that so but if you you have set up your uh, uh pi browser with your fingerprint login then you can log in with your fingerprint and then you copy your passphrase from there so i'm going to do that now for my own because um maybe you don't know where you have written your passphrase before you cannot find it again so i'll click on this unlock with fingerprint so when i do that it will unlock my wallet so this is it if you have pi testnet here you change it to pi minutes then you click on this settings just it will ask you to authenticate with your fingerprint then after you have done that then you click on this show my passphrase you click on this show when you click on this show button it will show the pa pa uh, passphrase at this down part here so you click on the copy you see a copy button under it you copy it then you can add straight to your pi um mining app and you then you paste your passphrase at this place so when you do that you click on this confirm your wallet so immediately you do that you click on confirm your wallet it will bring a prompt message to confirm it then after you have confirmed the wallet then you will have it stitch like this one <clears throat> the way my own is stick here with green color so that is what you have to do so those are the things you have to do this number two number one number two the material number four those are things you need to do before the uh pi uh kyc is live so just try and do that um thank you so much once again for watching this video um please don't forget to subscribe and also give it a like if you actually enjoy it and also you can click on that bell icon so that you can get notified anytime i drop new videos you can't afford to miss my videos i bring you updates every now and then thank you so much once again god bless you see you again later bye